Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel y'all, how are you? It's so good to have you guys back. I am so excited to have all of you guys here with me. Welcome. So if you are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant, I am clairaudient, I am a medium. And I do offer mediumship based readings. All that information is priced down below. Also, I just want to say I love you. Thank you for all of you for being so supportive. And this has been a year, Taurus. It has been a year. And I have not been super consistent, but I'm grateful for all of you for just being present anyway okay so if you are new to my channel I, I think I already said it you guys I am a psychic medium I do have all my information below and if you guys are feeling generous I do have my cash app I have my indie deck wish list I have my Amazon wish list and I have my PayPal okay so let's go ahead and see what's going on for you Taurus Let's see what's happening. November 1st through the 15th. Let's see. There's so much here, you guys. There's so much growth for you, Taurus. There's so much beauty. A lot of you guys are freeing yourself from a work environment. It's like I'm having a vision of shackles coming off. You're freeing everything about your life. Okay, so we do have rulership, play by your own rules, you are activating all of your chakras, you guys, this is about an ascension process here, okay, this is about a major, major ascension here, wow, Taurus, you are loved. November is a month of feeling love. Scorpio season is an activation for you in itself. It's interesting for a lot of the signs, you guys, Scorpio is about an activation of rebirth or an end of a cycle and then we move through something new. This is actually serving as a new beginning for you. I'm getting a new moon here. I'm getting so much of just gifts, you guys, gifts from the divine for all of your love and sacrifice. If you are in um, a position of a, a teacher role or you are a leader, let's see you guys, Taurus, we do have the 10th house in reverse. We have career, social status, and we have reputation and ambition. Listen, a lot of you in reverse, this is one of my favorite houses the house of Capricorn. This is why, yes. Something around this growth, I want you guys to really remain silent or a bit private about what's happening within your career sector or within your relationships, okay? There is, I am getting a little bit of an affair here. Some of you guys have been dealing with someone at work if you're in a romantic partnership with someone that you work with, this is coming out to light or there's a threat of your reputation around an affair or an accusation for some of you. For others, some of you are protecting your reputation, you're protecting your career and you're saying, you know what, I've established so much but I'm ready to free myself, I'm ready to let go and I'm ready for something new here. Okay. The 10th house, you guys, is very powerful. It's about public recognition or how other people feel about you. This is also about what is hidden and what is true. So be aware of what you're posting on social media. Be aware of what you're posting on Facebook, on Twitter. I don't see Instagram, you guys. Something about Twitter here. So let's see, Taurus, let's see Taurus, having a vision of rings, you guys, 
partnerships are coming up for you. I am having a vision of a beautiful connection here. Something that's going to bring in constant fruition. So there's a constant flow of money. Okay. The circle is symbolic of infinite flow of wealth, you guys. You have nothing to worry about. Something has to be private here, though. So we have water. We have intuition, feelings, purification, soul, unconscious excuse me, unconscious, in, in, whoa, <laughs> introspection, yes, listen, you guys, um, this is a bit intense, I feel a lot of you guys are either working on, you know, you're working in a field of being a healer, you guys, or you are working in a field of art, of creativity, okay? Some of you guys are really feeling your career sector or you're feeling your path here. You're using your activation of your psychic abilities or this could just be clear knowing, clear sensing, your empathy, okay? So please pay attention to your intuition around work right now. There's something around work. Okay, there's something around work that really should be expressed differently. Something around words. So be aware of what you're posting, okay? This is an activation here. Whatever you are doing, it activates people, it can help people, it can heal people, but it's taken very personally, Taurus. You guys have a complete purification process. There's rebirth here. Okay. Trying. We have gifts, resources, talent, harmony. Some of you guys are wondering... Why do I feel as if something is standing in the way? Taurus, nothing is standing in the way. Okay? A lot of you are, are a bit at odds. But listen, it's mindset. You guys, a lot of you guys are really working through a very powerful cycle around your mind. Okay? What's coming towards you is earned, Taurus. I'm really happy for you, my loves. Yes! This is definitely fruition for you. This revolves around uh, completion of a... I'm getting a contract, you guys. Okay, I'm getting a form of some kind of written letter here. Okay, there's an end of a cycle. Um, wow. Some of you have been fighting something a legality issue, or if you've been to court, it will rule in your favor, my loves. Let's get one more. What is trying, please, spare? Let's see. Taurus, we have find your stability, your security. So listen, Taurus, this is your time to shine. There's nothing about November that is not going to be about you. It's all about you. There is a threat here. Something so, oh, wow, you guys. If you are dealing with a water sign, be aware of what you're posting. It can become a source of gossip or reputation or something that can kind of throw things off for you. I don't see this being a problem, Taurus, okay? Hang on a second, you guys. So, speak with your truth, you guys. Speak in truth. something about avoidance of deception please avoid deception because of your really big platform or what you're doing this could also be about creativity you guys speak your truth okay so let's see what's the general theme here so let's go ahead and see Taurus I'm getting a lot of signatures Something is finally signed and you're saying, wow, at last, I have reached it. I've reached my destination. Be aware of your intuition while signing, Taurus. 
The rings are symbolic of long-term wealth, long-term opportunity, but also partnerships that come with your career. But don't get, listen Taurus, some of you guys have someone in your environment that may watch you with someone else, or if you guys have a third party here. Be aware of office affairs, it can get a little messy. So this is all about you, Taurus. We have Leo, Sag, Aries. A lot of you are taking a position of power here in leadership. You're becoming more uh, in your seat of your power. You're ready to lead. You're ready to take over a business. You're ready to take over a company or others. There's a promotion coming in and you know it's for you. You're saying, yes, finally, it's for me, okay? A lot of you are also challenging someone in your environment that is a Leo Sag Aries. Some of you guys want truth or you want justice. Some of you are prepared to challenge someone. Look at this face here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Stern. We have the King of Wands. Very stern. A little bit aggressive. So a lot of you are wondering. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of... You're ready to conquer, Taurus. You are ready to conquer. Let's see. What general? Let's see. General themes for you, Taurus. What's coming up November 1st through the 15th? Some of you guys, there's something hiding here. Okay? I am getting like... If you guys have hidden treasure or you have something underneath the earth that you've buried for yourself, this is going to be exposed more than anything, you guys. There's something around an exposure here of truth, okay? Something around, um, give me a second, guys. My spirit guides are really encouraging truth because of what is going to come out or what can come out, okay? The sun illuminates everything that is true here. So be aware. If you guys have a child with a Leo Sag Aries, this is also going to be a source of focus for you. Be aware of reputation, you guys. Do not disclose information that can kind of go against you. Um, or there's something around this person wanting to expose you in something, or vice versa. Truth is the aim, or truth is the motto here. So let's see what else you guys. General. Taurus. A lot of you are going to have to repeat, listen, you're turning, you're turning something counterclockwise. You're going back in order to reset something and you want to come back, okay? This is about clearing something, you guys. Some of you are clearing either paperwork, you're clearing a friendship, you're clearing a promise, okay? Yes. Let's see here. My love, excuse me for my voice, you guys. be aware of people who are wearing your eyes okay there's something about wearing your eyes or they want to kind of um, if you're in, in a coven or you're in an in, um, environment of the occult be aware of people doing sorcery around your eyes because whatever is coming out okay in terms of the light this person likes to provoke the eyes, or they like to cloak your eyes, or they like to blind you. And this can, I'm getting a lot of a potential missed opportunity, Taurus. Don't miss it. We have the Page of Pentacles here. Your opportunity that's coming in is beautiful, you guys. This is an opportunity of an education, furthering something fantastic here along your path. This is also about giving birth to new condition. It's like you're really creating a ritual with the sun. You're saying, I'm ready. 
Okay, I'm ready for something new. Someone here is giving you an opportunity. Okay, this person is offering an open door to a master's degree, a PhD, furthering some kind of education, you guys. Okay, Taurus, what are your opportunities, my loves? Please stay within reach of a Gemini. Do not get too close to this person. I have to be very honest. This air sign, you guys, this person likes to kind of throw you in a different direction or they distract you. We have Leo, Sag, Aries. Do you believe in who you are, Taurus? Do you believe in who you are? Okay. Some of you are dealing with court, with two fire signs, or you are just dealing with a duality here. Some of you are coming out within your sexuality or you are transforming something okay this can also be about standing in your power you may have a leo sag aries in your environment and they are trying to kind of pull you down or they don't want you to feel good about yourself um or this is you taurus are you feeling steady are you feeling confident on your throne okay this offer that's coming in gratitude yeah this offer coming in requires a lot of gratitude and a lot of stillness some of you may not see your offers and there's a bit of why me okay you may not be able to see the abundance or you're not seeing what's happening be aware of victimizing yourself because this offer although it's small it's incredibly powerful okay so let's see Taurus Listen, around the, excuse me, around the 11th, you guys are taking charge. There's a change here. Something around um, sitting by a waterfall or um, a fountain, you know, those fountains that are centered around the roundabouts here. This... This is going to be an experience. You guys are really taking this time. And something around, you know, sitting there is incredibly, excuse me, you guys. Something around sitting there is inviting. And it's also going to give you a sense of you're ready. My guides are saying, I'm ready. I'm ready to really transform here. I'm ready. Yes. Choice. Let's see what else. Let's see what this page of pentacles is about, you guys. Okay, this is about your joy, my loves. Please don't miss an opportunity out of fear. Um, there's something around saying, oh, well, this is too small of a gift. I want more. I want something better. Why didn't I get someone else's? This offer is not just any offer. This is fulfillment for you. Don't miss the Ten of Cups that are, you know, it's really waiting for you here. This is about feeling good about where you are, just feeling confident overall with your environment, okay? There's growth here and potential. Let's talk about love toys. my loves some of you guys I have oh, let me take a sip of this coffee some of you guys are writing a letter to a Pisces Cancer Scorpio for others I feel this is an air sign this is a Libra Gemini Aquarius something around this letter okay a lot of you guys want to free yourself from this connection some of you guys you want to end it you've been back and forth with this person there's so much passion here so much love but it's not working something about this something about this you guys is frustrating you but let's get into it let's see toys So, yes. Mm -hmm. 
here we go, Taurus, and love. So there's something around, it's interesting, my, um, my book moved by itself, so there's some spirits here. There's something around your um, love life here. Take credit, take note. My spirit guides are really showing me here. There's someone trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. This love has been so back and forth. Some of you guys have not let go. You're not ready to let go. You have established that this is your person, but right now there's a sense of, I have to let go. I'm ready. Taurus, this person. So this person, listen, you guys. Be aware of someone who is incredibly slick with their words or they are provoking some kind of battle. My guides are showing me some kind of battle here, battle of wills, or this can also be around power struggles. Okay, this person has, I feel like they have several options, you guys. Be aware of dishonesty here and love as we move into Scorpio season. Let's see what else, Taurus. about this letter that is really gonna it's gonna bring up so many things for you this is about trust okay so let's see what else wow okay we have the eight of pentacles yeah this person really wants to work on this connection but from where how did you love one of my favorite songs, How Did You Love, right? This person is actively, they're actively, actively pursuing you, but it feels as if it's almost empty, Taurus. Some of you guys are like, do you love me or do you not? Where do we stand? So as we move into November, a lot of you are working. You're very focused here. You want to work on this love, but some of you are deciding to completely turn your back on this person and you're working on your own. A lot of you are ready to just do what you have to do for yourself here more than anything, okay? You're saying, I'm okay on my own. Okay? Yes, Taurus. Yeah. Please do not listen. My spirit guides are saying warning here. Some of you are in love with someone that you're working with, okay? Do not fall in love with someone who is taking from your ideas or they're taking from your creativity. Please be aware of this, okay? Be aware of theft, you guys. If you are in love with someone and there's some kind of beneficiary energy here of money, okay? Be aware of this person um, stealing from you or being dishonest. I'm just getting a lot of shady energy. So just be careful, Taurus, I love you, yes. Okay, let's see what else. What opportunities, excuse me, what opportunities in love? So we have the chariot here. Yes, we have the chariot. Listen, my loves, I really want you to work on your boundaries. I am having a vision here of a black moon, okay? There's something really, really dark here in terms of your love life. So if you guys are dating or you're in a relationship with someone who is uh, extremely depressed or there's some kind of dark energy around... Um, maybe a mood disorder or there's something going on in their life, please be aware of who you're dealing with because I'm just getting a lot of a swing of the pendulum. Some of you guys, there's something here that is not, wow, it just feels really hidden, okay? 
something you're not seeing within this person, okay? Something that you're not seeing. Some of you guys are not seeing something very important here. So we do have Cancer, we have the Chariot, and Love. Some of you have travel coming in, in, in terms of your love life. This is what I'm worried about. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, you guys, please allow some kind of information to come through. If you've met this person on a dating site, or if you have met this person and it feels brand new, make sure you know who they are before traveling to them, okay? So the guidance is to really be careful, you guys, be careful. Also, your intuition, please follow your intuition, yeah? That's part of why I was rubbing my head there. There's something here, please be aware. So let's see, Taurus and love. Okay, so we have the tower. Okay, I have to take a deep breath for you, Taurus. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to see it, but the, the tower for you. Okay, listen. The tower, this is about a major, major sudden shift. Some of you are not seeing this with this person, okay? There's something very shocking about their background or who they are. There's something incredibly shocking about news that's coming in. This is someone who is a thief. Not a thief of your heart, okay? This is someone who is actually, um, they have a background here or there's a criminal background. Be aware, take note, you guys, if you are dating overseas, or you're dating at a distance. This person is not being honest with you. Okay? This hurts, you guys. The tower. Wow. What's coming towards you in love? Let's see a little bit more of the tower here. Let's see. We have strength. Wow, okay. If you are living with someone, prepare for a shift, you guys. We do have Pluto deconstructing something that was false. Some of you guys, if you're in a living, uh, you know, a living situation with someone you're hooking up with or someone you have a casual relationship with, there's something really, really shattering, but for the better. Okay, you're becoming more strong, more enlightened about this. Here we have you taming a lot of the lower vibrating energies as well. Leo, this is going to require a lot of strength, okay, and a lot of patience. This is going to require a lot of time. Some of you are shocked around the Leo, you guys. I'm so sorry. This could be an Aquarius as well. Be aware, look at this. I don't want to be the bear of bad news here. This combination is incredibly deceptive. Okay, but you can get a personal if you guys would like to see, you know, something more in depth here. So, news. I love you. You'll get through it. Okay, you'll get through it. Let's see what's going on, Taurus. What's your advice? I am having a vision of the number 12, okay? More than anything, there's an activation of change for an ascension process. This isn't for anything. A lot of you guys are really moving forward. If this has been something you're holding on to for a sense of identity or for a sense of reason, you are allowing, I'm saying allowing because Taurus, once you are rooted and decided, you really choose. You are allowing a change. There's something about an Aquarius here, my loves. You have to let go, okay? Or letting go of a false identity or of a false love, okay? So let's see. What's the outcome here? Yeah, I can really feel your hearts, you guys. You've been through so much with this person. I know. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. 
So, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So, your advice. Some of you guys are letting go. You're deciding to stop. You're not going to work on this anymore. I'm done. Okay? Let it go by Keisha Cole. You are no longer establishing your ground with this person. I've had enough. Okay? Be aware, you guys, of pushing too fast in love this month. There's a rush here. I don't know why I'm getting an adrenaline when it comes to love or a need to be loved. There's such a rush here. Take it slow, you guys. Let's see one more. What's your advice? Mm -hmm. So you have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Take note. Check in with how much you have been receiving in love. Are you okay with receiving love? Are you okay with receiving? Okay. So the major lesson here is about bringing balance and justice to reciprocity and love. It's not one-sided. This connection is really opening your eyes to the way you have been. Um, there's a lack of self-love, Taurus, and now there's an awakening here. You're going to see it. There's a huge transformation for you. I love it. Okay, hang in there. I love you. Comment below.